When we talk about immigration, when we hear news of migrant caravans making their way to the southern border, our rhetoric tends to erase the very people those reports describe. We talk in statistics, in abstractions, in fiery platitudes and partisan soundbites. It's why I so value the work of visceral storytelling, like Desperate Journey. PBS special correspondent Nadia Drost and videographer Bruno Federico bring us up close and personal to the plight of migrants and refugees in the Darien Gap. This lawless 66 mile trail through the wilderness on the border of Colombia and Panama might be the most dangerous path to freedom on the planet. Immigrants from all over the world make this perilous journey. They brave everything from poisonous snakes and anti-government gorillas to death from starvation. Joining a caravan of migrants making this journey, these fearless journalists offer us images that should haunt us all. Watching them step over the skeletal remains of those who have gone before them and failed is chilling. This is the kind of courage that, I'm happy to report, the Peabody Awards jury is rightfully recognizing. Thank you to Nadia, to Bruno, and the PBS NewsHour team. You have done invaluable work here. Congratulations on your Peabody Award. It's been six days that we're walking without stopping. The children cry of hunger. There's no food. There's nothing. A woman and her boyfriend from Haiti were robbed by bandits days earlier. One grabbed the boyfriend's arm, threatening to cut it with a machete. One of the men assaulted her, penetrating her intimate parts with his fingers, looking for dollar bills they suspect migrants of hiding. Later, we heard many stories of this and other abuse on the trail. After another night of heavy rain, the river is very, very high. It's going to be risky to cross it, but we simply cannot wait any longer because we have run out of food. Pierre found a pregnant Haitian woman he had been searching for, and we got on our way, trying to sidestep the river. After eight days on the trail, Rosina Boateng's family from Ghana had run out of food. When is it going to finish? The hope of, I, even, I lost hope. I even lost hope. Stomachs were empty, legs were quivering. Because the river was too high, we had to make a detour, winding up into the forest and dimming all hopes of reaching a settlement in Panama by night. The next day, minds were racing with one question. Will we make it out of here? There were foreboding reminders of those who did not. Thank you so much to the Peabody Committee for this immense honor. Growing up, we saw the self-declared free world cheering those jumping the Berlin Wall. They were seen as courageous, not as illegal. Later, we started building walls and using natural barriers, like seas, jungles, and deserts, to keep people out. Today, families from around the world fleeing violence and untenable poverty are making a desperate bid to reach the U.S. by traveling through South America. But to cross Panama's closed borders, they're forced to traverse the dense, mountainous jungle of the Darien Gap. And the journey is truly harrowing. Many migrants suffer injury, armed robbery, and death, evidenced by bones and corpses left to the forest. We hope this award draws attention to a deadly journey that no one should have to make. One that exists because of policy decisions to close borders and deny asylum seekers and migrants safer ways to find refuge. Thank you to all with whom we share this great honor of a Peabody Award. The Pulitzer Center for their steadfast support, photographer and local producer Carlos Villalon, and to the PBS NewsHour, especially senior producer Morgan Till and executive producer Sarah Just for their commitment to international stories. Most of all, thank you to the migrants who trusted us to tell their stories when they had little reason to trust anyone. Walking alongside them, has been one of the greatest reporting privileges of our careers. We dedicate uh, this award to them. Thank you. 
Thanks. Thanks.